Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So it is test day and I did get into the closed beta for Palea. I signed up late, so I got a code late. There are only a few days left. Uh, so I thought I would try it out and see how it goes. That may be what I do for both test day things, just to kind of get a feel for the game. Uh, it's only got a few more days in the closed beta, and then I think it is going to an open beta. So I kind of want to see if I'm interested in continuing it on the channel, at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we get to choose a body type. I guess this is male. This is female. That's fine. We get to choose face shapes. Let's get up. I kind of like either this one or this one. Maybe this one right here. And then we are the pale. So we're gonna go here. Kind of like those. Those are kind of gold. Kind of like the gold eyes. Let's do gold eyes. Hey. 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 Okay, so those are the female voices. Hey. I think we'll go with that one. Now, we've got a bunch of hair. Uh, let's see what colors. I apparently have some streak color going on. Salmon color. I don't know. Maybe this color. I like those kind of colors. And then we could do what kind of what would look good with it. Maybe the pink would look good. Eyebrow color's fine. We'll check hair dye patterns in a minute once we found our hair. I, oh, that's cute. That actually changes how the thing is. Let's get hair dye patterns. I actually kind of like this one. Okay, so I like that. Cancel. We have to finish the rest of it. I'm fine with that having no thing. And then we get clothes. Okay. That's cute. I'm not sure that I want a dress though. Kind of just looking for a style that I like. I think I like this, but let's check out the colors. Because then we'll have to do pants. Let's check out this one. I actually think maybe this color. And let's look at the pants. Uh, 
about this. I kind of like these, but let's, let's maybe change the color a bit. I don't need them to match my other stuff, though. I mean, that does match. It's fine. It can match. It's fine. And this is makeup. Kind of like that with just like the top one. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. Okay, so I think that's all we have to do. So yes, you will not be able to change your body type, face, skin tone, eye color, or voice. This functionality will be added later. Okay. Okay. So we can now do our name. Okay. Hopefully no one has taken that. And we will do the same. Yep. Time for you to go out into the world. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. in my thoughts. Oh my dragon. Did did you just materialize from nowhere? Okay, so I guess these are elements. Uh, I don't know which one I would want. Honestly, I have no idea. Water type personalities are thoughtful, introspective, and emotionally sensitive. While intelligent, they often tend towards melancholy. More like from a spiraling pink void. Air type personalities are laid back and free spirited. They never take themselves or others too seriously. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. Fire type personalities are friendly, brave, and easily excitable. Natural born leaders. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Earth-type personalities are stubborn, practical, and honest, often to a fault. Well, this is probably more, like, actually me. This one right here. So I guess we'll go with that one. However, I do kind of like the idea of a spiraling pink void. But we'll do that. <laughs> right, you probably don't know any more about your situation than I do. It's just, none of the other humans knew either, which leaves me right back at square one. Other humans? Uh. Yep, you're not the first human I've seen in Palea. Just the first I've seen, you know, appear in a giant cocoon of light. Uh. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura? 
the innkeeper. The innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled in. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here, and I am this close to figuring it out. <laughs> I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. The name's Gina. I'm an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. And this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I've got to get back to the grind. Oh, I might go for a walk. Okay. Uh, navigating as usual. Look around with the mouse. Moving the mouse will change the direction. Okay. Hello, human. Hello, human. I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. Your presence heralds much change in the world of Palea. What am I? I guess that would be more in line with what um, my thing is. You're a human being, an ancient thing this world has not seen in many rotations of the sun. Beyond that, you shall have to answer the question of what you are for yourself, as do we all. Please come again. Okay, I don't know if I get to do more. Hi. Why don't you come back when my head's spinning just a little less? I forgot to eat again. Now, is there anything where I am? I am not the biggest fan Ooh. of um, mouse movement controls. I don't think there's controller support. Oh no, there is controller support. Okay. I love some controller support in these 3D sort of games. Moving with a joystick is so much easier than moving with you know, just up, down kind of thing. Okay. Some obstacles can be jumped by pressing space bar. Okay, so... We're going to have to just kind of figure it out on the controller. Because they don't have controller directions. Press, I guess that's the up arrow to toggle sprint and get a longer jump. Okay. Okay, so on an Xbox controller, it's B. However, I did not get all of that because I canceled out of it. Let's see, what is the news? Oh, I got something. Okay. I got a windmill. Probably, I don't know, because, you know, there's a chat there, so it's obviously got that sort of same chat type thing that, like, World of Warcraft had. I haven't played World of Warcraft since the original World of Warcraft. Okay, so that. I don't think there's a need to go down that way. So this is an MMO, so I guess there are going to be other people. I don't think this is where I'm going, but I'm going to check it out. I 
I wonder if it would just be better to play with the keyboard and mouse right now instead of trying to figure out all the controls for the controller. I don't know, may maybe... Yeah, I don't know actually if controller support is fully done. Okay, so... Because there's some stuff that it doesn't let me... Like, I can't move down this with anything. Controllers... Oh, yeah. So, it's not fully there. I can move around with the controller. But I think for now, we'll just... We'll do this. I'm going to turn down the music. And we'll turn down sound effects. I like to have dialogue up. But, okay. So, honestly, because it would just be too much, I think, to go back and forth uh, between controller and mouse and keyboard for everything else. I think I'm gonna just do this. And we'll just do keyboard right now. Is that it? Okay, I don't think so. I think that's just somebody's house. The dragon is everywhere you look. Another child of the phoenix joins our little village. I must say, today is a lovely day to be born. Ah. I am Chain, the local ritual sage and devotee of Magi the Great Dragon. Magi the Great Dragon. It's my job is as... Kilima's healer and sage to care for our villagers both physically and spiritually. Uh -huh. So, how are you feeling? I am sure this is quite a lot to take in. It's a little overwhelming. I guess we've decided we're a water type. Okay. Uh -huh. I promise everyone in Kilima's will do their best to make you feel comfortable and welcome. I do not know why the gods brought you here, but I am sure there must be some great plan in store. I look forward to seeing it. Now, you want to speak to Ashura before you do anything else. Just take this path towards the village. He'll be in the big building with a keg out front. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I need to clear my mind now. So we're looking for a big building with a keg out front. I mean, there's a huge building. There's someone. Welcome to the valley. Hi, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? Um, I just moved in. I just materialized from a void. Huh? Well, that sure sounds tough. When my brother and I first moved in, it took us a little time to adjust. And we were just coming from one town over, not another plane of existence. Ah. If you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I'm known as a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. Bye. Um. This is a library. No one's in there, though. Oh, I see the big keg. Yeah, I'm working up a sweat. Oh, hey, you must be no new in town. I'm Nio. 
My family runs the Daya farm over on the west side of Kilima. Kilima. If you need someone to show you around the barn or teach you how to ride a riff rock, I'm your guy. Huh. I'm also good at lifting heavy stuff if you need anything heavy lifted. Oh. Oh, and here's a carrot for Sugarfoot. Give her one of these and you'll be her new best buddy. See you around. Need some heavy lifting? Oh, I did not mean to do that. You look lost. That's okay. I get lost sometimes, too. Mm. But if you're looking for Ashra, he's behind me. Not uh, literally behind me, but he's in the inn, which is behind me, I mean. Back to my workout. There's Wrath. I mean, this should be where we're going, right? Kenley? As long as you do your best. Greetings, I'm the enough. Honorable Kenley Bahari. The firstborn son of the late Kenjun Bahari, the 118th Duke of Bahar of the Bahari Providence. And brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. Mm -hmm. I am mayor of this fine village, and it is great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. I'm too famished to keep talking. Okay. Good to see you again. <laughs> Looking for Ashra? You're in luck. He's literally, literally right across the room. If you're looking for delicious soups and stews instead, I'm your guy. Ah. Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. Whoa. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Good talk. Across that right there. Take a load off. Welcome to Kilima. I'm sure it's quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashra, the innkeeper at the Omaru Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now, but we do have some old plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. Uh -huh. What do you say? You want to take this great outdoors? Uh, sure. <laughs> I would want someone to set me up with a place to sleep and something to eat if I materialized out of nowhere. Why would I not do the same for you? Uh -huh. So, let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I've marked the spot on the map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Try not to work too hard. He has there. keys. He has room keys available. Okay, so we're going... Our axe. Okay. I guess we we we're going northeast. Okay. It's got one of those like directional things here, but it, which I don't really like, but it also does have over by, I guess, the time. A directional, like, compass, which I actually prefer more than this, like, bar at the top. I prefer just to, like, have the compass. Do I go up or over? Probably up this way. Okay, and I'm, I guess, in here. This does seem to be the direction. Because I'm getting slowly closer. Woo.
Ah. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Not a lot of folks come around these parts. Hmm. It's coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Hmm. Hidari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do you for? Um. Ashura sent me for the, a pickaxe. Right, Asher has sent several of you new folk my way. The whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need you all buried in mud. In fact, this one's about ready for you to use if you want it. Just needs a bit more work. I see you've got an axe already. Here, take this pick too. Always good to have the right tools for the right job. Use them both to clear this debris, would you? Minden's hungry, so you better take this too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you get more use out of it. Okay. Okay. Tools and gathering. Press and hold R to open the tool wheel. Hover over a tool and release R to equip it. Try gathering stones from a nearby rock debris. Press and hold the button to start using the equipped tool. Press and hold R to switch to another tool. Try gathering wood from nearby wood debris. Press F to gather items you have collected. Okay. So, I need to hold R. It would be nicer if all the loot just came to me, um, but it's fine. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to do. Let's switch over to the axe. Okay, so that's doing something. So, your action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar number two using the mouse wheel to use the, pi use the pips to keep track of which action bar is displayed. The items in your action bar are outlined in your inventory. Place items you can use or consume on your action bar for ready access. Okay, okay well, okay, we can return here. Yeah? Huh. Still lots to do, but it's a start. Um, I found this weird thing. Huh? Found a lot of strange things in the, in the mine, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot after all. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Placement. Is that the workbench? Okay. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Press the button for placement. Rotate the station using Q and E. Okay. Action bar selection can be canceled by pressing X. Okay, I guess I could put it right over here. Okay. 
So craft items, craft a tent at the workbench, place your tent, craft a wooden storage chest. Okay, so I need way more stuff. Way more stuff before I do that. So let's get some wood, because that's definitely something I need. Mushroom. Okay, is that every? That can't be enough wood, right? Oh. No, certainly not. Okay, I guess I can chop down trees, maybe? Okay, I must be able to chop down trees. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of wood. That was 11 wood. Okay, now I can make this. Guess I'm gonna set it, like, can I set it right here by my workbench? Okay. Okay, so we need more... More wood. Oh, that wasn't any wood? let's clear all this stuff out anyway because we want to probably put our house like right in the center Now, I wonder, it, seeing this is an MMO, about the time of day in these. It doesn't seem to run on, like, real-world time. So, I do want to kind of get these rocks out of the way, though. And I need some wire, it looked like. And I'm not sure where the wire comes from. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we kind of cleared stuff out, but I need, oh, I have that. So I just need one more wood. I think I can get this. Okay. So I'm not sure what this actually is. What is that? Plant fiber. Okay, so I can make this. So I have my tent, and I want to put it, like, right in here. Ooh, quite large. Oh, oh, very large. Far larger. 
than I anticipated. But yeah, I was trying to get it right there. Ooh, who are you? Talk to Ani when he visits your plot. Talk to Ani when he visits your plot. Are you off on an adventure? Ooh, good. You haven't left yet. My mom, Delilah, told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm. She wants you to have this housewarming gift. Welcome to Kilima. I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. Looks can be deceiving. Sure. We'll be nice about it. Good. Then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Dear Bubble Fairy, you have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birth birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Einar, and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Please take this rod. Okay. Into your possession, seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, it's red, and then this one. To whom it may concern. City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use. During work hours, you can find me at Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Okay. All right. You seen any cool bugs? So, how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week. But all I ever seem to find are rocks. Uh, well, I found this strange artifact. Oh, oh wow, what does it do? No idea. Huh? Hmm, I bet Gina might know. She is always hanging out in the ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot in all the excitement. I brought a present for you. Ah. A Bug Scout's official belt. And a set of smoke bombs, too. I'm a member of Killam's best and only bug catching club. You gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Reth, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. I gotta run. Mom's calling. Okay. So I have to leave the plot, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I think I will play this for the next uh, test day episode as well, just to kind of get a little bit more into it, see if I am interested in adding it in. Maybe not every day, but a couple times a week. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!